so that we come and we remember what Jesus did. And it'd be so easy right now to, to talk about the cross and what Jesus accomplished there. It was only through him that it could be done. He was the only one that could do it, paid in full for every one of us in this room. But as I, as I sat with him this week, he, he wanted me to say something different. And what he wanted me to say was, don't miss the invitation. Don't miss the invitation. God, what do you mean? Don't miss who's sitting at the table because if you miss who's sitting at the table, you miss the invitation. And some of you in this room may be going, Tim, you don't know my life, man. Like, my background's criminal. I've done people wrong. I'm embarrassed of the things that I still do today. Have you ever met Matthew? I'd love to introduce you to Matthew, who was at the table with Jesus, tax collector. They were known as some of the worst criminals of their time. They were considered to rob people, and yet there was a place for him at the table to come remember what Jesus did. Some of you may be going, Tim, you don't get it. The life that I live, the thing that I'm known for is unfaithfulness beyond its dreams. Man, I've, I've been married several times, divorced. I've, I've done these people wrong, and I said I was gonna be there, and I wasn't. I'd love to introduce you to Judas. Judas also sat at the table. He was the one that betrayed the Son of God. And Jesus said, there's a place for you. Will you come and sit with me? Man, I don't know what you're walking through today. I don't know what's holding you back from this moment. But he says, there's a place for you. Right where you are, with whatever you're going through, with the thing that you're in the middle of that's out of control that you can't control, it's okay. And he pulls out a chair and he says, there's a place for you. And he did something so profound that day as we look at this table, mission, don't miss this. All these people sit at this table, different walks and different journeys of life. And he says, come. And he takes bread and he breaks it. And we're gonna do this together. I know these are a little difficult, but we're gonna go for it. The top one's the bread. Jesus, he takes this piece of bread and he breaks it. And he knows that this is gonna be his last meal, his last time to fellowship with these people. And he breaks the bread and he says, this is my body for you, broken for you. Whenever you meet together, eat of this. And when you do, remember me and the sacrifice that I made for you. Let's do that together. Then you can go ahead and open the juice and he, Jesus takes the cup and the next thing that he does is he says, whenever you meet together, drink this and remember my blood that's gonna be poured out for you. And I'm gonna make all things new. It doesn't matter where you are, this is on me. And he says, drink 